Hey, hey, what is going on? This is Mortal Glitch. And today I'd like to welcome you to a new series called Stupid Things to Do In. Now what I'm going to be doing through this series is I'm going to be taking various games and going through and playing them ways I don't think the developer really intended for them to be played. I'm going to be building various mini games or even just little silly things to do to have some fun. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. If you can't tell, we're going to be starting off here in Overwatch. And for this one, I'm going to be theming it around things you can do solo and things you can do in custom games. Alright, let's get started. Alright, for this first little mini game, uh, we are going to do some Symmetra Bowling. So. Well, to start off, I don't really want to be on the red team. I'm going to swap over to the blue team here. But you want to go into your settings here for the custom game, and under rule set, go ahead and set it to skirmish. That way, if you have multiple people playing, you're not really going to run into a problem with somebody prematurely capping or something. Uh, you want to go down here, just go ahead and hit none on maps, and then turn on Ilios. Some of the other maps may work, but I know Ilios actually has the basketballs in the little starting zones. You want to scroll on down. You can leave most of the other stuff untouched, but once you get down to gameplay options, you want to go to ability cooldown modifier. Go ahead and set that to 0%. It'll save you a ton of time when you're trying to get the turrets set up because it'll fix the respawn timer. Since mine were already set like that, I went ahead and hit cancel. Normally you'll just want to save right here. And then start the custom game. Now arriving at Phoenix. <laughs> right, and for this you'll want to pick Symmetra. The true enemy of humanity is disordered. Alright, normally when I'm getting this set up, I set it up here below the stairwell. But you'll want to set it up in a standard six pin format. Sort of like bowling, but with a few less pins. So, I'm going to form a big triangle here. Alright, and while I'm getting this set up, I'm going to go ahead and tell you I cannot take full credit for this. I actually saw an image sort of hinting at this on reddit a while back. I didn't happen to write down who posted it. If any of you all know, just let me know and I'll go ahead and put a link to them in the description. But uh, yeah, they had this set up and they were talking about the basketballs can actually blow those up. So I started playing around with it. Um, I've actually spent a couple of hours just goofing off with this seeing what all can be done. And basically once you get the turrets set up like this, you're going to want to take a basketball. You can either start with this one over here since it's already kind of lined up. Just walk up and either melee the basketball, bounce it in their direction, and completely miss. Or, Symmetra also has her secondary shot. If you hold right click, that will roll the ball, which makes this a little bit easier. Once it stops rolling here, I'll see if I can get it lined up. Oh, I am lagging. My defenses are weakened. But as you saw, whenever anything from the environment actually collides with one of her turrets, they just instantaneously destroy. So that's the gist of the game. It can be played multiple ways. You could probably have more than one person playing. They don't even all have to be Symmetra, as long as they can smack around the basketball, they are good. But Symmetra is usually the easiest to play with because she can push them. You can even use this little guy over here. He's not as effective, though. Oh no, he's stuck under the table. I haven't had much luck. I tried to use one of the fire extinguishers the other day. Couldn't get it to actually make contact. So yeah, I don't know if those will actually destroy it or not. 
also noticed something weird while setting this up the other day. You can actually put the turrets here on the basketball. And then smack the basketball around and the turrets will fly with it. Potential for something here, just don't know what I could do with it yet. And also whenever they actually hit the ground they seem to explode or bounce into a wall. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Symmetra Bowl. Pretty straightforward. Pretty fun little mini game if you're bored and getting set up. My defenses are weakened. All right, on to the next one. All right, and for the second little mini game here, I like to call it Junk Rat Flying. Now, what you're going to want to do is go ahead, go back once again, set the rule set to skirmish. Go ahead. Uh, this one doesn't really have to be on any particular map. I'm going to go ahead and use Ilios once again, since I'm trying to learn more of that map, and I just had it set up for Symmetra Bowling. Uh, you're going to want to go back down here and set your ability cooldown modifier. Once again, set it to zero. That way you can really spam the skills. And jump into the game. Alright, so now the point of this one is once you get in, you're going to want to select Junkrat. And the goal is to use the concussive mines without touching the ground and make it from the outside of your base, this little courtyard here, all the way into the enemy courtyard. All the way on the other side of the map. Now with the skill spam, you can keep yourself up pretty well. And the goal is just to blow yourself all the way over there without flying off the map. And it looks like we're already here. And I failed. Yeah, I'm trying to get better at learning how to control that. Um, I tend to shoot myself off in a random direction. Been pretty decent with it in matches so far. As far as, as, far as throwing myself to where I need to go. But as far as actually flying with Junkrat, not so easy. Getting too low, too low, too low. There we go. Should be close. Too far, too far, too far. Nope, 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 nope. Well, I'm technically in their courtyard. But that's not good enough. I'm gonna go back. Actually, it seems much more effective when spammed like that. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Well. As you can see, it can be quite difficult at times. Either that or I'm a moron. Probably more the latter. Ah, I see what I was doing. I was spamming way too quickly so they weren't they were never going off before the next one came up. Actually no. Nope, 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 nope. Anyways, that's the gist of junk rat flying. This one's fun solo as well as if you have other people. But if you have somebody on the other team, be careful because that is a lot of damage flying back and forth. Alright, for this last one, if you can't guess, it is in Dorado. We're going to want to follow the same settings we've used for all the others so far, so go ahead and set your game mode to Skirmish. Uh, Instead of selecting Ilios as the only map, set it to Dorado. 
And for this one, you're going to specifically want to put yourself onto the red team. That way you start off on the attacker's side. And from the attacker's side, you will spawn inside this little lovely area. Now for this, I recommend using a character like Widowmaker or anything that has a decent amount to their clip and can fire a couple of single shots. And what we're going to be focusing on is the bells and the ability to make music in the game because each one of these bells actually has a different tone so you can play any kind of song that has three different tones. For example, Well, it would work better if I had a few more shots, but that was a very poor rendition of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Now, do you all know of anybody who's actually came up with anything cool with this? Have you made anything cool yourself? Let me know. I'd love to see that down in the comments. Just have me go check out your channel or whatever you'd like. I'd like to see more as far as what these bells can do. Or if you've even went as far as actually cutting the samples and making a song out of it, that would be pretty cool too. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, show me some like button love. If you want to get notified on my new videos, go ahead and subscribe. Have a great day.